Today we're going to Miyagi Prefecture. From the city of Sendai, we're headed back to Matsushima. Matsushima has many great tourist spots to offer near the Matsushima Kaigan Station. But today, we are going to a different area. We're headed to the Isozaki Harbor on the other side of town. If you didn't know, there are two places in Japan that are very famous for oysters. Hiroshima and Matsushima. We're headed to a place called Koei Suisan. Suisan means fishing company. Koei Suisan has been operating in Matsushima since 1998. Yukinobu, the owner, is very nice and was so kind to let us film his shop. Though oysters are one of Matsushima's main seafood attractions, Koei Suisan sells many other kinds of seafood, including clams, scallops, flatfish, crabs, seaweed, and more. This place is the place I go every year for the last three years during the oyster season to buy oysters. They have some of the biggest, freshest, and best oysters I've ever had. When I was filming, I was expecting to only watch them, but I found myself participating more and more with the different tasks done on site. This is Shiba, he's going to help me separate these oysters here. During the oyster season, which begins in October and ends in March, the shop does something amazing. They offer yakigaki, or oysters that are fried over a small grill and cooked right in front of you. Though Yukinobu's favorite way to eat them is raw, and they are amazing that way, there was a norovirus scare earlier in the year, and they recommended that you cook them before eating them. The people at the shop know their stuff, so they made sure the oysters were cooked correctly and thoroughly to make sure no one got sick. Don't forget if you're coming to the shop, you can get the oysters like directly from the shop and eat them right here. These ones are the really big ones. One thing to keep in mind is that with the cups here, there's part of the, the, the juices on the inside there. And usually you drink them. Here. This looks so good here. You gotta see this. Very good. There's a little juice in the cup here. Another interesting thing about the location is that they sell fishing tackle on site. They only carry the main live bait used in Japan called ao isome or bristle worms. And if you ask politely, they may even show you how to bait the hook correctly. Koei Suisan is the shop they use to sell their wares. But over on the little island known as Isojima, they have a large building where they shuck and clean the oysters. Yukinobu isn't your lead from behind type. No sir, he jumps right in to complete the jobs at hand. Check out his awesome shucking skills. At this location, all the oysters brought in are hand shucked and placed in a large bucket. When the bucket gets full, they bring them over to a washing station. One of the things with eating oysters is that because they are a filter creature, sometimes there is sediment found inside the cups. Not to mention the abundance of sea salt on them as well.
The washing process helps clean them both before they go into further processing. In this video, we showed you about the Koei Suisan location, but we didn't get a chance to talk about the oysters on where and how they get them from the ocean. Stay tuned for our part two, where we go out on the boat and take a look at the process up close and personal from the ocean. Hi there. Did you like the video? Leave us a comment and tell us what you think. Like and subscribe if you'd like to get more updates. If you want to get involved and help us get to more cool locations in Tohoku, support us on Patreon. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Any information you need, we'll leave in the description below. Thank you.